Hey guys, welcome to another Lunch Hour Review. Today I'm going to try this Tattooed Chef. This one is the plant-based beefy nacho burrito. It is grain-free tortilla, vegan, gluten-free, and soy-free. Um, I like their logo. Um, let's see, grain-free tortilla, fill, grain tortilla filled with plant-based beef, pinto beans, and vegan um, nacho cheese. So that's what these are. Bought this at Kroger. It was $2.99. A little expensive for a burrito, but it is... Uh, vegan and gluten-free and all that good stuff. So I guess it's, you get what you pay for, right? Um, so one burrito is 330 calories. And there's your other info for you. Um, to cook this, you do do it in the microwave. So I don't see any other directions. Um, it's just the microwave directions. You uh, remove the packaging and place it on a microwave safe plate. Microwave in high for one minute. Flip and microwave for another 115 to 130 or until heated throughout. Let stand for one minute before serving. I will probably just do the 115 um, the second time around. So let's open this up. I'll get a paper plate to put it on, but I always stick it on a piece of like a parchment paper just so it won't stick to the paper plate. It tends to do that. So this is going to be noisy. All right, looks like your standard burrito doesn't look any different really. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave and I'll be back when it comes out. Okay, here it is out of the microwave and I did let it sit for a minute, like it said. So, uh, and I did for 115 because I found that these, um, I've had one of these before and uh, the end got a little tough um, when you do it too long. In my microwave, 115 works fine. So, let's see, it feels good and hot. There's the inside with the fake beef and the, the beans and the cheese. So there you go. So I'm going to cut this. I used to cut it into like, like four pieces. Like I'll cut this in half and then in half, then in half and then. So I'll cut it in eight pieces all together. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll take it over the table. We'll try it out. Hey, right, I'm going to try um, the filling first, just because it's there and I can. <laughs> Again, this is supposed to be like a beef, beefy nacho burrito. Um, so it's supposed to have like a, a plant-based beef. And um, of course, it has beans and, and vegan cheese. So I do like the uh, the texture of the beef. Um, it actually actually uh, uh, kind of like a lumpy uh, texture, like a piece of ground beef wood. It's kind of a tougher piece of ground beef. So if you think about ground beef or hamburger or whatever you want to call it, that's been like. It's got a little bit of a toughness to it. It's got like a little bit of chew, almost like a piece of like a roast or a steak. That's kind of the texture it has. Um, so it's not truly like ground beef texture, but it's pretty close. I mean, for it to be vegetable based um, or plant based, not necessarily vegetable, just plant based, um, it's decent. It's not bad. I mean, would I know that that wasn't hamburger or ground beef? Yeah, I probably would. But would I care? Not necessarily. The now and the flavor is pretty decent. Now my problem with it's going to be maybe this gluten-free tortilla because sometimes those tend to be an odd texture. Not bad. You can tell it's not a flour tortilla. Um, it has a, ooh, it has like a bitterness to it, like a almost like a chemical flavor. Let me try another bite. Hmm. Yeah, that tortilla, because I didn't get that same flavor without, with just the filling. Let me try just the filling again. I didn't get that like a, like a tingle, like a burn almost um, from the, the filling. No, it doesn't have that same. So that was just the filling. I'm going to try mostly just tortilla. It has like a little, um, it's not even chemical flavor. It's just a, it's like a bitter flavor um, when you're, when you're eating it and you swallow. Uh, right in the back of your throat, you get a little bitterness from just the tortilla, the filling is actually pretty decent. I like the filling. I would eat the filling anytime. I think I'd rather have it in a bowl, just the filling, than have the, just leave the tortilla completely out and, and get rid of it and just give me a bowl. I think I would like it a lot better. Would I know it was vegan or plant-based um, ground beef? 
Yes, I'm not, I know it's not real beef. However, I do like the flavors of the beef, the filling, the cheese, the beans, and the, the beef filling. Um, I like all that. So if I were to just grant it, or just uh, review it based on the filling alone, I'd probably give it a four. I really do like the flavors of it. It has a little bit of a spice to it, but it's not spicy like in burning your throat. It's just seasoned well. Um, I like the textures though. The textures are fine. It does remind you a lot of ground beef, just a little tougher. Um, so I would literally give the filling just a four. But with it having that gluten-free tortilla that's really not very good to me, um, I'm gonna knock it down to a three out of five. It's not bad. It's, if you need plant-based, gluten-free, whatever, I think you'd be happy with it. Uh, just for me personally, I would have to eat all the, the filling out of it and throw away the tortilla because it, it really does, like, it's bitter. So, um, so, yeah, three out of five, I don't think that's too bad. Um, it's a good average uh, rating, but it could have been better if it hadn't had that uh, tortilla. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.